This rowing variation is called the Gorilla Row. It's really hard to say that, Gorilla Row. <laughs> um, you need two even-sized kettlebells, or you can use a single kettlebell. I'll show you um, at the end of the video how to sub in just one. But uh, yeah, you will stand over the bells in a nice sumo position, right? So wide feet, you're straddling the bells and they're in line with your laces. You're gonna chop your hips in half and hinge over into kind of a hinge squatty position. You wanna think about really rotating your elbow pits forward and pulling those lats back, right? By pulling the shoulders down, tucking the chin so that the neck is also neutral along with the rest of your spine. Um, you're gonna use um, one bell and keep it in the ground and almost push against the bell as you row your elbow of the opposite arm up to your rib cage. So you're creating some opposition there with the bell that's staying loaded on the ground. And every time you row, you bring that bell back down to the ground. So it truly is coming from the floor. Um, again, you're in kind of a hingy squat position. I'll show you what it looks like from um, the side in a minute here. You wanna exhale as you row up and inhale as you lower the bell down to the ground. That's really important. That'll help keep your abs engaged and uh, your back supported. You can also alternate these, right? So if your program calls for alternating gorilla rows, then you do this, right? You rotate every single, or alternate rather, every single rep, rather than stay on one side. So if you just see gorilla rows, eight right, eight left, you just do eight right, eight left. If you see alternating, do that variation. So here is what it looks like from the side. You're gonna straddle those bells again, chop the hips in half. So you can see I'm like a little greater than symbol. My shoulders are higher than my butt and my butt is higher than my knees, right? My back is rigid, my shoulders are pulled back and my chin is tucked. This will ensure that you are in a really strong spinal position so that your lower back doesn't start to hurt um, as well, right? I'm not over hyperextending in that position. So um, just make note of that. Take a look at yourself in the mirror from the side. Now what happens if you only have one kettlebell, right? Well, no problem, I'll show you how to uh, make that happen. Um, you would set up in the same fashion, right? And make a fist with the unloaded hand and push that fist toward the ground to create that same opposition without having an additional weight. If it calls for alternating, you just wanna set it in the middle of your stance and then alternate every other rep, right? Or every rep rather. <laughs> um, so that is your gorilla row, guys. Good luck.